When I accepted to take this job, I was told that when I fight corruption, that corruption will fight me back. But I could not have imagined that that will happen in the House Committee on Capital Markets. And now I question, Honorable Chairman, your credibility in carrying out this public hearing. The reason I question your credibility in carrying out this public hearing was that on October 20th, the SEC gave you Esther Code and a business class ticket to travel to an emerging market conference in Dominican Republic. Please tell the Nigerian people whether you actually went there. In, and this was in, in, in November. And please also tell the Nigerian people, if you didn't go, whether you have returned the monies. I'd also like to, to say that yesterday you had indicated that we should, you, you had implied that as a regulator, that by having people on secondment, from the private sector in the SEC, that it could have undermined the capacity of us as a regulator to make our decisions. In asking the SEC to contribute 39 million Naira to this public hearing, do you think that it undermined your capacity? I do not think you have given me a fair hearing. I do not think, Honorable Chairman Hembe, that it is appropriate for you to have gotten information from the SEC and without even asking us to verify that information, to respond to the issues that you then make the judgments that you made yesterday. We're trying to build a democracy. But people told me that corruption will fight me hard. It's been two years and a few months that, I still, that I'm still standing, that I haven't been killed, that all of the shenanigans so far has not affected me. But I think that because the integrity of the apex regulator of the Nigerian capital markets is so important, it is very important that I state this fact very publicly. And I believe that if we want to carry out an investigation, and as you said, in the interest of Nigeria and not in your own interest, I should not be subjected to what you subjected me to because the SEC did not give you 5 million Naira in cash on Tuesday the 13th of March. It should not be. It should not be, Honorable Henby. And I'm sorry because we need to start running this country differently. We need to start running this country differently. We need to start running this country differently. I cannot have had the auditable career that, I, that I've had. And you want to rubbish my personal reputation, the personal reputation of the apex regulator of the Nigerian capital market and the Nigerian capital market. Please, if you said that we are here trying to find out why the things that happened in the Nigerian capital markets happened, and we're trying to propose solutions, please can you explain to me also why even the presentation that I made on the 13th of March, it was not aired live. Can you explain to me why, if our market, if the equities market peaked at 12.6 trillion Naira in March of 2008, and then declined to a bottom of $32.9 billion by February of 2009, that what you have decided is in, is in the interest of Nigeria is to try, to try and undermine the regulator and undermine my person. You have questioned my competence. You have made frivolous accusations of me of having done things that compromise myself and compromise the integrity of the organization that I'm, I'm the CEO of. Please, is this the house that we all know that gives people fair hearing? No, 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 I just, I, my issue is your credibility in doing this. I have, I, I question it. To start by making a comment that the job we're doing here is not about me, it's not about members of this committee, it's not about the deputy speaker. It's about the resolution of the House to carry out an investigation to find out the root causes 
of the collapse in the capital market. We are going to do that investigation and come to a conclusion that will be useful to everybody. Let me start responding to the issues from the bottom up. I'll start from the, no, I, 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 I did, uh, there are four of them, right? Four. We're talking about deputy speaker, committee collector five million, we requested 39 million. Sorry. Let me, Sorry. No, please hold on. I did not no, say no, no, the there committee are collected on, please put up your five microphone. million. Put up your microphone. Put up your microphone. No, but I'm questioning please your credibility to the microphone, chair. please. Fundamentally, like every other thing that is happening here, it is being recorded verbatim and will be taken into account at the point of making the final report. I will take into account the fact that I collected money, I, 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 I said they, I'm alleged to have collected money to travel, and I didn't travel. That we requested for 39 million from SEC for this public hearing, and that yesterday or the day before, we collected 5 million. Okay. Oh, we asked for 5 million. Okay, I did. And then, and then uh, that, that I asked for 5 million, and that the, dep <laughs> the deputy speaker, his wife work with, works with the Nigeria Stock Exchange, and his auntie is also the uh, Ndi Okereke, who was formerly in the stock exchange, who you probably have issues with, so the house cannot be properly said to be fair. Those will be taken into, into consideration to check whether in doing what we are doing today, we have been affected by such bias. The public is also watching. If what I am doing is because of the fact that I collected money from SEC to go on an overseas trip to study and I didn't go, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing, the public will take note that issues of bias or corruption, I invited the, we, the committee invited the EFCC. Are you here? And the ICPC? Yes, EFCC is here. Honorable Strong Chair. issues of corruption have been made against me. Strong issues of, of corruption have been made against the committee. So it is our hope that you will investigate me deeply and investigate the committee too. I give permission to that, and that is my ruling. We will proceed with the business of the committee.